name's Kim Snowden. I'm the principal here at Rancho. Thank you so much for considering our application. I have some fabulous staff members who are going to introduce themselves and tell you a little bit more about our project. Hi, IPSF crew. My name is Terrence Snow. I'm one of the writers for this IPSF grant. The name of our project is called Launching and Connecting School Culture. And that's exactly what we want to do. We want to launch connect our students through Brain Break Kits. So a Brain Box Kit looks like this, pretty simple. There's a lot of supplies that come into it. I'm not gonna take out all the supplies, but you can pretty much equip anywhere from 10 to 15 games in a box like this. That's gonna cost us anywhere from like 100 to $150 a box. We have a lot of staff members here at Rancho. And what I wanna do, what we want to do here at Rancho is equip every single staff member with a Brain Box Kit where they can have it in their classroom as an activity that they can take out anytime we have free time. Oftentimes here at Rancho, when there, are, when there is free time, teachers will say, hey guys, go ahead and uh, finish extra work from class, go ahead and go on Canvas and work on work from other classes, but why not take out a Brain Box kit and have the students participate in a friendly competition um, where they can work on their hand-eye coordination, and we live in a time where technology is always happening, but I love this because it doesn't involve technology. It's hands-on learning, it's movement, and as you saw from the kids' testimonies, they really enjoy playing these games. So thank you for considering our proposal. Um, this Brain Box Kit will benefit our students here at Rancho for years to come. Oh, kids too, okay? <laughs> go, guys, go, go, go! Oh, shoot. So close, you got this! The name of the project that we're trying to get is called Launching and Connecting School Culture. So this is our first attempt playing Brain Break Games. What did you think? Um, it was really fun. It's a good way to clear your mind and take a break. But also, it's a, you have to be focused and really like think at the same time. Cool. So whether this is a social studies class, a history class, a foreign language class, a math class, an English class, what if a teacher says, hey guys, let's just take a quick brain break and let's play a brain break game. How would you feel? Um, I'd feel kind of happy because some of my classes are like not as interesting. So then like if we took like um, kind of fast breaks in between, maybe that would help. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, both of you. Hi, my name is Paige Morris. Jamie Cooper and I teach eighth grade science at Rancho Middle School. We do a rocket unit to go along with NGSS standards PS 2-1 and PS 2-2. When we started this unit, we were using stomp rockets to show how Newton's laws could be applied to rockets. And as you can see, they were very simple, but the kids enjoyed them. They learned a lot from them and we um, thought let's enhance this. So then we decided to create bottle rockets and you can see here that these are some examples of bottle rockets that we've done and our launching unit looks something like these pictures and videos that um, show the students being dangerously close to the units. This is our current unit looks like this this is a handmade unit. We have three of them. Um, as you can see, the, um, the part there at the end is where the pump goes in, and then those zip ties is actually what holds the rocket in place when it's um, placed properly. And then another student, after the first student pumps the rocket with a proper amount of PSI, the second student would pull the string and the rocket would launch. But as you could see from the videos, it left the students dangerously close to the rockets, launchers. And also, we have three launchers and normally two would be used and one we would be repairing. So we were repairing and trying to monitor students at the same time. What we would like is to have some new rocket launchers that are more durable, that are professionally made with metal so that they don't break and we're not fixing them. With these, you can see that the pumps are far away from the actual launcher, so it will increase student safety. Um, this does require two bike pumps, one pump for the release button, which was that green button, and the other pump for putting the proper amount of PSI into the rockets. 
Thank you for your consideration. Hi, IPSF. My name is Pam Locklear. I am the librarian and the ASB teacher here at Rancho. A lot of what you've heard about so far in our grant proposal are opportunities for students to not use technology, to have hands-on opportunities, to have a bit of a brain break, if you will, throughout the day from their Chromebooks and from the academic rigors. We've seen a lot of students come in from hybrid and from IVA, and the struggle is real. They are, they are having a difficult time adjusting to being on campus, to being with their peers, and those interactions with peers are so important. And so we try to facilitate that in the classroom and in common spaces like the library. Um, although most of what you've seen has not been a technology focus, part of the proposal is for a Vibe Smart Board. And that would give our students in the library, which is everyone, it can be everyone every day, and we would see over 100 students daily coming through, and they're not always the same students. And also, it would give um, it access to my ASB class, who does serve everyone, um, to a tool that would allow them to collaborate. And so I think that's the other large piece of this um, proposal is the opportunity for students to have hands-on interactions and to collaborate with others. Let me show you how the Vibe Board would work. All right, guys, so we have our dance theme down. We we're deciding on doing space, but we need to get all the activities and the food down as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll look up stuff on what activities would be mm -hmm. fun. I'll try to find your course. Definitely, and I'll try to find some uh, food that we can use. Mm -hmm. Oh, I found something. Look at this one. I feel like this would be fun for everyone to see. Where? Right there. What? That or no, there. this one. That one? Yes, this one. I can't really well, see, see it that it. well. Wait, this one or that one? The one on the bottom? This is such a pain. There has to be an easier way to do this. I hate this. Well, have you guys heard of Vibeboard? We can cast from our Chromebooks. It's an interactive touch screen. It's really great for collaboration. Wait, why don't we have one of those? Yeah. Wait. Wait. Miss Okay, we are here with two students at Rancho San Joaquin Middle School. They are in the middle of PE. We brought them out here to just kind of impromptu interview them. So, after a warm-up PE lesson, whether it's health or PE or science, and a teacher wants to help you calculate your heart rate so you can learn a little more about your heart, uh, Parker, I'll start with you. What do teachers normally do? Um, Calculate your heart rate, teachers will usually uh, check your wrist or your neck. Okay, and that's how you kind of calculate heart rate. What are some problems, Eunice, with doing it that way? Um, it's usually harder to calculate your heart rate, and it's not as exact, but if we had a machine, it would be much easier to calculate, and it would be more interesting. Okay, so we're not so sure we can purchase the machine, but what we're asking IPSF for is, ready for this surprise? We're asking to see if they will purchase some heart rate monitors for maybe one whole class. Yay. Yay! So that's going to help us get some good accurate data about your heart and what it's doing. So for example, maybe after you run a mile run or after you do a tennis activity, you can kind of see what your heart's doing. So what do you think about that, Eunice? Um, I believe that's a great idea. It would not only benefit the students, but probably the people who uh, want to keep track of their heart rate after like, a certain activity. Right, I know it will benefit the teachers too because teachers want to help teachers with data and help us to uh, better make uh, make better lesson plans for us. So thank you guys. Heart rate monitors, what do we think? Um, it's a great idea. A great idea. Woo! This is Gagaball. Gagaball is a game we students here at Rancho love to play at PE, snack, and lunch. As years goes by, things start to get old and this Gagaball set needs a new makeover. For example, there's missing bolts and there's splinters on the wood. So this is why we propose to fix this Gagaball pit using more wood, more paint, and more bolts. This is why we need your help to remake this Gagaball pit so students of Rancho can enjoy it for years to come. Gagaball! Last year was challenging, but through these challenges, opportunities were created. We were able to explore new instructional strategies, and there were three things that really came to mind that we wanted to improve upon. One of them 
was the importance of our hands-on learning opportunities. The other, health, both mental and physical, and we wanted to create more opportunities for our students to connect with not only each other, but the school. Our Launch and Connect project will give students the opportunity to collaborate in meaningful ways and be innovative with and make meaningful connections with each other. This will improve our overall school culture, and we thank you so much for considering our proposal, and we hope you help us launch into new opportunities for our students. Thank you again.